Okay, hello viewers. I'm here at the very end of the um, page conference on African studies with two Polish uh, scholars, Dr. Mormol and Dr. Kupinski. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello, my name is Dr. Joanna Mormol. I'm from the Jagiellonian Center for African Studies of the Jagiellonian University in Krakow. Hi, I'm Dominik Kopinski. I'm assistant professor at the University of Wrocław. I'm also co-founder and vice president of the Polish Center for African Studies. Thank you. There was a lot of talk during the last two days here about a rise of an uh, interest in, in Africa, in African studies, yeah, in, your, in the eastern region uh, of, of Europe. Um, how does that uh, show and um, what drives it in your, in your home country? Can you tell our, re our viewers about this a little bit? Um, as for my experience at uh, my uh, university, I think first of all there is this need to understand better what's going on in Africa. We see Africa in the media, uh, the students uh, see it, but very often they don't understand. And they treat Africa in fact as a country, which definitely it isn't. Uh, so uh, I think this is the first and the most important thing. Uh, the other thing is that uh, recently at the Jagiellonian University we started to rediscover our African studies heritage, uh, so the history and uh, experience in, in doing African research. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in my case I wouldn't say that there is any, anything region or country specific that uh, drives the interest in Africa in, in, in Poland. Uh, I think uh, this is a more universal thing, I mean what's happening in Africa these days, how Africa is transforming, so it also attracts our attention. But of course we've um, um, tackled this kind of niche in, in Poland, um, that there is a gap in terms of, of uh, understanding of contemporary Africa, and we decided to, uh, you know, plug it. Okay, tell us a little bit about the recent developments in African studies in your countries. There, you know, you, you established a new Africa Center, right? So just tell our viewers, please, um, what's going on? Is there maybe more modules, more students are now studying Africa? What is happening? Um, the Polish Center of African Studies is not necessarily a university type of, of institution or, or unit. This is um, more uh, a think tank uh, organization, the research center. So it's outside of university uh, walls. To be honest, I mean, we set up this, this center uh, to be absolutely free in terms of the way we conduct our research in Africa with, uh, without all this bureaucratic, uh, you know, straight jacket. So uh, this was our, our main, main uh, uh, motivation, to be honest, right? <laughs> and as for my institution, uh, this is um, a university-based uh, research center. So um, yes, it was an answer for the need that we observe among students, among PhD students, because more and more PhD students uh, are writing their PhD thesis um, about Africa. In my case, this is, uh, these are students from political science and the international uh, relations. And uh, the other thing is that um, um, really we needed a platform in Krakow to um, be able to coordinate this Africanist efforts because in the past it was like the ethnologists they doing their part, the political scientists does, and so on and so on. So we needed a center to be able to cooperate better. Okay, and if you, <coughs> you know, there are various debates in your country when it comes to Africa probably, would you want to highlight one or two topics that are very prominent? Um, in Poland when it comes to debating African issues? Mm, okay, one thing that that's probably something that um, has been reprised uh, recently is how um, how Polish how Polish uh, companies can, can tap into the um, potential, economic potential of, of uh, African region. So this was one of the themes that I, uh, I think uh, can be seen as a new new kind of venue, new kind of direction and uh, we're happy to explore it. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other things, I, but I don't think that it is only the Polish case. Of course, uh, um, all of these issues that uh, are present in uh, the security and uh, international relations agenda, so migration issues, uh, conflict, security, of course, this also, I think, drives somehow this interest uh, in Africa. So we don't only tackle the, the problem from this, our scientific point of view, what's going on in Europe, but also trying to explain. From, okay. from distance. Great. Two final questions. One, um, the socialist uh, era, uh, the experience of your country, of it, and so on, does that still, does that shape in any way you, the current uh, African relations of, of, of Poland? I mean, you were there during the, uh, you know, pre-89, pre-91 period. 
uh, with a kind of socialist agenda, right? And now you're going back. And so on. there was also discussion here about the character of this of the, of the current era compared to the past, right? Etc. So, in what way would you say that, does the socialist era still influence in any way your relationship with Africa? Okay, so one one thing that um, comes to my mind is, is the perception of, of Poland in Africa that's definitely qualitatively different than the perception of, of United Kingdom or, or France because of the colonial past. So here we sort of uh, don't have colonial heritage and, and, and this is, I feel we can move move around in Africa on a, a bit different terms than uh, say uh, British or, or, or French. Yeah, I totally agree with Professor Kopinski. And the other thing is that sometimes this uh, socialist past helps. I mean, uh, at least um, I have the experience uh, from trying to establish some uh, university relations or cooperation because very often happens that these older generations of African scholars knows, for example, uh, Russian or studied in Poland or maybe in some other uh, country from the Soviet bloc. So sometimes this memory of the past can even help to establish uh, present day uh, relations. Good. And final question. Um, do you think there's a particular Eastern European take on African studies or what kind of co particular Eastern European contribution can you make to African studies in general? Hmm. I'm not sure if there is any particular, I don't know, perspective or, or angle that uh, that we look at uh, African studies research. I would like to believe that maybe we are um, not biased in a sense that uh, we feel a bit like independent from uh, this colonial heritage and um, African studies somehow influenced but colo by, by colonial past. We don't have it, so maybe we, we, we feel freer in this, in this matter. But this is my personal opinion, so uh, I don't know if it's 100% true. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I, I also don't subscribe to the idea that um, you know, post-socialist um, countries have uh, something relatively different to, to offer to African studies. At least I try to you know, think uh, along different lines. So I do um, projects that are also popular in terms of you know, um, um, interest in, 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 in European um, African uh, research centers. So I try to be more as European and think, think about myself as a, as a citizen, so a citizen of Europe. Cosmopolitan uh, yeah, yeah. perspective you have. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.